Welcome to Turn and Burn, your number one channel, all things blue collar. Thanks for joining me today. If you watched the last few videos, I was putting the front bumper, building a front bumper, a move, do-it-yourself bumper for my 2004 Chevy three-quarter ton, 2500 HD. And today, I'm going to go ahead and start on the rear, and I'm going to take you along and show you how... I'm gonna build the rear and kind of show you how easy or how hard it's gonna be. The front bumper wasn't too bad. If you have a little bit of experience with welding and a uh, little bit of experience, you know, kind of fabrication, you can build you a bumper just like this one right here. But let's get going. Let's start on that rear bumper. So I got all the pieces laid out right here like i said in the front bumper all these came out really really nice this one i think knock on wood or metal i think this one's going to be a little bit easier to do um, the other one you built on the truck in place this one is going to be a little bit different because these brackets right here that you see they weld to these outside pieces they don't weld to the inside pieces so what i'm going to do is go ahead and get this laid down get everything nice and level and get these two or these three pieces all tacked together that way we'll have one big unit then i'll remove the bumper and do all that stuff so i can get this on there so let's begin So that's what I did. I came in here and wedged this up, got this completely straight this way, and it closed, closed the gaps up really, really well. So got this clamped in here. I'm gonna go ahead and tack this up. Then I'll move on over to the other side and get it tacked up as well. All right, got it tacked up good both sides everything looking level like i've shown you so next piece of the jigsaw i'm gonna go ahead and set these pieces right in here you got this hole here and this fits pretty good so that lets me know that it's lined up really well so i'm gonna go ahead and tack both of these pieces in here that way everything's gonna be nice and strong and it'll it should uh shouldn't flex anymore All right, all the front part is tacked together. What I recommend is tacking it in good places where you can get the grinder in there in case anything isn't fitting right, you can knock that off. Uh, or you can use a torch or whatever. But I have all that tacked up together. It looks pretty nice. Put together pretty easy. Hasn't taken me very long at all. I'm gonna go ahead and take this all back apart and uh, probably put a few tacks on the inside and go ahead and tack these in pieces on there. I just want to get everything tacked and ready before I take the old, old bumper off and install this one and see how it goes. So I'm just gonna tack everything. That way if I need to move or adjust anything, but at least I know it's all on there and I can see how the fit up is. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, move that, get those ends tacked on. I'll show you what the ends look like when I'm done with that. All right, got it all tacked up. Looking pretty good over here. Everything looks pretty smooth. So we're gonna head over here and we're gonna take the old bumper off and I'll show you what bolts we need to remove. All right, you're gonna have right here, if you have a receiver hitch, you're gonna have these two bolts here. All right, loosen this one up. Two on each side, those need to come out. And then around here, this is actually your bracket that goes through here. So you have these two bolts come off of this little gusset plate right here and you don't have to hold back up because on the other end they're held and these two bolts will actually when you take the nuts off these two bolts will come all the way out go straight across from this one there's one here that needs to be removed same thing you don't really have to hold back up that bolt will come all the way out and up underneath here where your receiver hitch is as well you have one more bolt here same thing you don't have to hold back up just pull straight out 
and after those all these bolts out this should slide right off make sure you pull straight out like that she's out of there all right the bumper's off now's a good time to get in there clean it up real well maybe get a little paint on there clean up your wires and stuff i'm gonna do that after I get it back off again, after it's painted and back on, I'm going to clean all this up, make it look real nice. But I do want to show you a few things right here. You have this little, um, like a rivet right here, where they connect it to the frame, to where your spring shackles are. That's going to intrude with your new bracket right here. But, you know, everything lines up real well. But that's there so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and notch it right here a little bit so it will miss this and it'll be flat up against there also like I was telling you you didn't have to hold back up that nut is on the bumper itself it's welded to the bumper so you will need to uh, luckily I had some 5 8 bolts I'm gonna go ahead and replace that so we'll have to hold back up so keep that in mind. You will probably have to notch this out and uh, notch this out and you're gonna need to get the proper, either get another nut or get some new bolts for this. So I'm gonna go ahead, notch this out right here and get this bolted into place so we can go on to the next step. So I'll just lay this up here like this. Actually mark where it is. Went ahead and bolted everything back up. Keep in mind, like I said, you're gonna need to find either a nut or another bolt. Same with this top one. Luckily I had some 3 8 bolts and nuts here. So I was able to put that one in. So keep in mind, you're gonna need either a nut or some more bolts for that. So they're both on there. As you can see, come along here from the side. They're bolted up, sticking in there, looking everything's level. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the bumper over there and uh, let's go ahead and get a fit up, see how it fits, and then we'll tack it up. All right, I got the bumper on. Let me show you what I did. I didn't really record this part because it was kind of a pain, but you saw in my last video when I did the front bumper, since it's just me, I welded a piece of tubing across this time so I could pick it up and get it lined up and everything. And what I ended up doing is I needed to, to check everything and I got a little bit more of a gap right here but my tailgate is actually bent a little bit and so what I did is I had to get everything from height wise make sure I didn't hit that it's very close as you can see I got a bent tailgate so it's a little bit lower than what it should be but got it in place level it out and I put some little put these in here to kick this over to get everything nice and uh, level this way that way it looks good and then on the inside where those brackets are got underneath there and tacked it uh, everything's looking really smooth really good only thing that I'm a little a little concerned about I don't know what I'm gonna do yet I'm just kind of debating you got a pretty pretty good sized gap right here i don't know if i should leave that in case something you know for movement and stuff or if i want to come in here and kind of fill that in um i'll get back to you on that and see what i decide to do almost tempted to cut me a piece and fill it in to get a little bit closer but i don't know yet let me uh kind of take a look and see what i'm gonna do but that didn't go on uh if you have two people going pretty easily, I think uh, you can probably get it all up in there in about 30 minutes or so. It took me probably about an hour, hour and a half just because it was me and I needed to weld these pieces on there. But that's basically the next thing is sitting it up in there. Just making sure, you want to make sure everything's level this way. 
this way and looks the way you want before you tack it into place. Other thing is right here where you have, where I have my, my, uh, where my plug goes for my lights. I had to trim that because this wouldn't open all the way, but now it does. I'll clean that up to make it look better, but I had to trim that out as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this off so I can go ahead and uh, start welding it up and everything. All right, all the grinding and sanding is all done. Looks really, really smooth. Like I was saying, just knock down the high spots and then get in there with those flapper discs. And then you just knock everything down. That way everything looks nice and smooth. Looks like it's all one piece. And I went ahead and decided while it's out, before I get any paint or anything on there, I'm gonna go ahead and close this here and on the side where I showed you earlier. So I made me a couple templates before I took it off the truck. And so this way, it'd be about enough to where I put my finger maybe in between the, the bumper and the truck. So went ahead and laid these pieces out. I'm gonna get them cut with the plasma cutter, cut them up and uh, see how they fit up on there, get them fit nice and good. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing. I'll smooth it all out. That way it all looks like it's all one piece like it was meant to be so I'm gonna jump on that so I got those cut out let me show you real quick what I made that way if uh, you want to do the same thing if you're making a similar bumper you can do that cut out a few pieces here this one it's gonna go along the side as you can see I already have it laid inside there and then I made this little piece it's about an inch and a quarter longer or wider i guess you can say and that's going to fit up inside of there so basically just closing everything in that way there's not that big gap in there and i'm not sure how this is going to look on the side uh we'll we'll figure that out once we get it on the truck but i'm gonna go ahead and weld that in smooth it all out and i'll show you how it turned out and then this thing should pretty much be ready to go I think that turned out really, really nice. Gonna close that gap up really well. Blended it in. We'll definitely see how it looks on the truck. Both sides. Bumper, this bumper's pretty much done. I just need to add my lights in here and get some paint on here. Unfortunately, I can't find a powder coater that can do anything this wide. The closest that I could find was, could do something 73 inches. This one right here is from tip to tip is almost 78. So uh, another guy, he said that in about a month, month and a half or so, he's going to make his oven bigger and he'll be able to do these. But I really wanna get him on the truck. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and use some, uh, some truck liner prime them get some of that truck liner on there something pretty simple that way I can get them on the truck see if I like the red I mean not the red see if I like the uh, black and decide if I like that I'll leave it if not then I'll change it to the red like the truck but I think I'm gonna like the black on there to kind of go with all the accents or whatever so next video I'll be getting some paint on there and we'll get these things on so we can see what it looks like on the truck so uh, I'm in this video now. Thank you for watching. I hope this is teaching you something. And, uh, you know, in the next video, I'll also give you my honest opinion on these bumpers and what I think about them once I get them on there and stand back and look at it. But I am not going to drag up. I'm going to roll on up out of here. Thanks again for watching. Peace.